We're given f of x comma y equals the square root of the quantity three x squared plus five y squared. We want to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point one comma three. This would give us the slope of the tangent line on the surface at the point when x is one and y is three in the x direction. Let's take a look at this before we find this value. So here's the graph of the surface and here's the point on the surface where the x-coordinate is one and the y-coordinate is three. And this red line is a tangent line in the x-direction. So notice as we go out along the positive x-axis, this line is going uphill and therefore we expect the value of our partial derivative to be positive. So going back to our problem, let's first write f of x comma y using a rational exponent. So we can write f of x comma y equals the quantity three x squared plus five y squared to the one half power. And now to find the partial derivative with respect to x, we'll treat y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. But notice how we'll have to apply the chain rule here where the inner function would be three x squared plus five y squared. So if we let u equal three x squared plus five y squared, we'll have to find u prime, or the derivative of u with respect to x, so we'll treat y as a constant, so u prime would just be six x. So now if it's helpful, we can think of this as just u to the one half. So to find the partial derivative with respect to x, we would multiply by one half, and then we'd have u to the power of one half minus one, which would be negative one half, but u is three x squared plus five y squared to the negative one half, and then times u prime, which we found as six x. Let's go ahead and simplify this. one half times six x would be three x. And because we have a negative exponent here, let's move that to the denominator. So we'd have the quantity three x squared plus five y squared to the positive one half. And now we could also write this using a square root. This is equivalent to three x divided by the square root of three x squared plus five y squared. Now for the last step, we need to evaluate this at the point one comma three, which again is going to be the slope of that tangent line that we saw at the beginning. So if x is one and y is three, using this form we'd have three times one divided by the square root of, well if x is one, we'd have three times one squared plus five times three squared. That'd be three divided by the square root of this would be three plus forty-five or forty-eight. But the square root of forty-eight does simplify. Forty-eight is equal to sixteen times three. The square root of sixteen is four. This would be four square root three. So this simplifies to three divided by four square root three, which again is the slope of the tangent line on the surface at the point one comma three. And for our homework, we should use the exact value as we see here, but let's also get our decimal approximation. To save some time, I've already done this. It's approximately 0 0.433. So going back to our 3D graph for a moment, we just found the slope of this red tangent line in the x direction. I hope you found this helpful.